Hello everyone! In this lesson, you can learn how to solve word problems that involve putting together or taking apart. So, let's look at the problems that we have and see if we're going to have to put together, which means addition, or if we're going to be breaking apart, which means subtraction. So, let's read it first. Jill walks nine blocks. She walks five of the blocks with a friend. How many blocks did Jill walk by herself? Right, so we have somebody that's walking and that they walk some blocks and they walk with a friend and then, so it's a lot of things going on, but let's read it again. Jill walks nine blocks. Okay, so we look at the picture and it's telling us that this is the whole number of blocks that she walked. She walks five blocks of, she, five, she walks five of the blocks with a friend. So there goes the five. How many blocks did Jill walk by herself? So we're going to figure out one part of the whole. That's how I want you to see it. These, this number is the whole. Everything that she walked. This is one part and this is another part. When we are looking at parts, when we are missing a part, we are doing subtraction. We have the whole, which is 9. We have one part, which is 5. So when it is subtraction because we are missing a part. And here's the equal sign. So let's let's see what is our missing part. What will be the number that we should write on this side? So let's see. We I like to count on, so that's easier for us to figure to get to nine. So we already have five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many how many blocks how many unit cubes do we have here? We have four. And that is how you do the subtraction. It would be four blocks. So let's answer the question how many blocks did Jill walk by herself? Four blocks. Jill walked four blocks by herself. You see how because you knew the whole, now you know a part, then you're missing the part. That's why you do subtraction. Let's try the next one. I want you to try it on your own and then um, you're going to do it with me. So go ahead and pause the video. Alright, so let's read it. Rita has three yellow balloons. The rest of her balloons are pink. She has seven balloons in all. How many pink balloons does Rita have? Alright, there's something happening with balloons. She has a lot of balloons, some color, another color. So let's read it again. Rita has three yellow balloons. The rest of her balloons balloons are pink. She has seven balloons in all. So let's look at the picture here. We have seven balloons in all. That's what it shows here, which is true. Rita has three yellow balloons there on this side. And the rest of the balloons are pink. The rest. So let's see if we can count on to help us out. So we got we have to get to seven. So we have three right and we're gonna count on to do to figure out how many we have left let's remember what we discussed on the first problem we have the whole we have all the balloons here so that's seven right now we have one part and when we have one part we do subtraction because we're trying to figure out the other part so seven minus three equal sign so let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many do we have on this part? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 on this side. How many pink balloons does Rita have? Rita has, as we see this part, Rita has 4 pink balloons. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was helpful, please share it with your friends.